Well, good morning once again, and welcome to a truly special place. We are in Acadia National Park on Mount Desert Island here in Maine. And we're here, it's my first day of four days of hiking and exploring. We're going to do one of the most popular trails in the whole park, the Ocean Path. And we're gonna combine that into a loop with a couple of the coastal mountains. Now this may be the most popular trail in the entire park. So it's a raw, chilly, and drizzly uh, early morning. It's about 7.30 a.m. So I thought this would be a good day to do this hike before it becomes too crowded. So without further ado, let's go hit the ocean path. It's gonna be spectacular, guys. Thanks for joining me. I do appreciate you. Now we're starting our hike at a place called Otter Point and we're moving up the coast towards Sand Beach. So as I said, this is a very popular uh, trail and you're going to see why as we continue on. The views, I've only gone 100 yards and I'm already blown away by the spectacular uh, rugged coastline. This is the classic Maine uh, North Atlantic coast that you, you envision when you think of Maine. Uh, and all of these uh, spruce trees along the trail, the scent, the fresh scent, and the sound of the ocean, it's wild and it's beautiful. Now the ocean path itself here runs 2.2 miles one way. Um, the, path, the trail itself is very easy, it's very flat, but you have opportunity after opportunity to walk out onto the, the amazing rocks going out into the Atlantic Ocean. The rocks have these different shades of color and it's just spectacular. I'm just, this is like a dream come true here, I'm just blown away how beautiful this is and how wild. All right guys, now we are in the middle of October. In fact, it's October 16th. The fall foliage here is very spotty. Uh, some spots, the color is very nice. Others, it's, it's fairly muted. And others, there's hardly any color at all. This particular trail, because we're on the coastline, features a lot of conifer trees. So you're not gonna have a lot of that here anyway. But uh, I just thought I'd mention that in case you were wondering where's all the the, the bright colors. Hopefully we will be finding them on our adventures here at some point. Alright guys, now I don't know how well you're going to hear me because of the wind but the, these cliffs behind me are known as Otter Cliffs. It drops about 100 feet from the top there down to the ocean. And right up there is the Park Loop Road. And one thing you need to know is 
the loop road follows pretty much parallel to the trail here. The, the, the road is just inland from the trail, but it's a world of difference getting out of your car and out onto the uh, trail here because I, I did the loop yesterday with my mother and it was nice, but this is, you have all the senses now. You can smell it and you can, you can feel it and you can hear it and it's breathtaking. Coming up to some rocks now that have a very, uh, almost like a pink, pinkish color hue to them. And I imagine if the sun were out and shining on it, it would bring it out even more. But I mean, this trail, it's just, it's just magical. This is everything I hope for. I'm gonna, I know you're gonna tire of me saying that, but I'm living a dream right now. I'm so happy. Thanks for being here with me. What I'm going to try to do at a certain point here is get down as close to the water I can if there's a safe place. We're also going to be coming up to a, a, a location on the trail known as Thunder Hole. Uh, that's like a real tourist attraction and that should be pretty awesome too. So this is, you know, this is the trail in Acadia National Park that is, you know, like I said, probably the most popular trail and the, the one trail if you're going to hit it uh, with your family, very doable trail. And you know, this is the big one, so everything's going great so far. So we just passed a section of really large and flat boulders. I took a little time lapse. I could hear, uh, I don't know if they're otters, probably because it's called Otter Point or Otter Cliffs, but otters or seals were, were chirping to each other in the rocks below me. Oh, it was amazing.
Now this is truly a spectacular spot here. This isolated beach that would be very difficult to get to. Another one of these famous beaches with all the rounded uh, stones there. How many thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of years does it take to get stones to shape like that? It's just fascinating. Beautiful beyond words. Uh, these secret beaches and coves and I just don't have words. I'm speechless. Wait till you see this down here. This beautiful rugged cliff and when the, the waves come in and they come out they turn these uh, rounded boulders over and they make this this sound of them bouncing around and it's like nothing I've ever heard like bowling balls. It's standing by thunder hole there carefully filming and I got blasted <laughs> I got hit with a huge wave I'm soaked all the way through that was awesome what a cool experience I love that spot make sure you check that it's a popular tourist spot but it's just super cool so we're we're right along the road now and we're into getting to the really most popular part of the park but you can see there's a lot more color here uh, a lot more deciduous trees look like birch and maple maybe so it's giving a nice uh, different perspective we're getting a few sprinkles now of rain uh, that was to be expected on and off light rain you can see the conditions behind me hasn't changed much much since this morning uh, thunder hole right over there and uh, we came all along the coast from around that bend there and at some point here I'm gonna go head inland and, and start making a loop up on the hills there returning back to where we started from so man I could spend all day out here I'll tell you that much